it's, um, I have just outgrown anything we ever thought about because as soon as we started to roll the project out from the 12 schools into other schools, because of course teachers are great at passing on information you know, from, by word of mouth and sort of thinking, well you've got that and I haven't so I would like it too. Um, and teachers very quickly picked up this and, and just ran with it and some of the symbol resources that teachers have come up with have just been absolutely fantastic. Symbols, of course, support those children with an autistic spectrum disorder hugely. And a lot of the symbols that were used in schools to support them now have gone into the homes because they've been so supportive of routines and things like that. It has helped, I think, greatly in simplifying the language of the curriculum for excellence and giving children, staff and parents a, a shared understanding of what it is we're talking about, what makes a confident individual. For a while we did have quite a lot of Polish children who came into the area and symbols were quite widely used um, to support those, even in environmental labelling for example. If you're coming into a school where perhaps English is not your first language, even finding your way about the school can be really challenging. It was used in quite a lot of schools to support that, as well as obviously the teaching of a foreign language. Certainly the symbols with the second language have helped greatly. Children from a very, very early age are learning these symbols and it's helping them as they progress through the school years. We believe in its success so much and how it's supported our children in Fife so much and our, and our adults and our staff, our teaching staff. I suppose if I'm really honest, it has been far more successful and, than anything we ever imagined. Mm -hmm.